I need new underwear. <laughs> what I have is too small. And that was my lovely husband. I have not put new underwear for Mauricio in the budget, but apparently I need to. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and then go ahead and click that notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Cause we're awesome. And, and people are ringing my doorbell and you might want to know who it is. Okay, so today we are talking about the August budget. Woo woo, August. Where is the year gone? Seriously, I remember like yesterday I was doing like my 2017 goals. Our first category is our utilities. And, and as you all know, let's go ahead and address another elephant in the room. We live with my mother and father. We paid them one sole lump sum and they pay for everything out of that. That is why in my budget, you will not see food, you will not see rent, you will not see power, water, sewer, none of that, because that's the way it happens here. In our utilities category, we have our cell phones, which are 186.60, and I have been looking into some of the suggestions you guys have made about um, different cell phone services and none of them have panned out so far but if you have recommendations for cheaper cell phone services uh, it has to be on the Verizon network though because that is legit only the only network that works in my neighborhood the other expense we have in our utilities category is our storage unit now I was going out on Saturday to film a video about the storage unit and that trip got postponed to next Saturday so hopefully hopefully i mean it's been like six months i've been planning on doing this video so but hopefully i will get you out there and i will explain the math behind why our storage unit is so expensive and why it is important for us to keep it our next category is transportation and in transportation, I have $60 for car wash service. We are no longer using that because Mauricio is not Ubering anymore because he got a job. Yay! Uh, but we are keeping the $60 in there just in case they don't cancel the service. And if they don't, then I will go and have words with them a lot. The biggest change to our budget is we are putting in $100 for gas no longer the $400 because Mauricio is not Ubering. And here's a bonus. As you guys probably know, Mauricio drives a hybrid vehicle and um, we are carpooling to work. He works in the building next to mine. So we are able to carpool to work together and we will be riding in his car, which can get to and from work almost on full battery. Some, it depends on how much traffic we hit, but for the most part, the last um, last week, I think four of the five days that we drove together, we hit full battery going and coming back. So hopefully our gas for our vehicles will go way down. We're keeping it at $100 for this month, so fingers crossed. There is no money for the oil change or the easy pass. We don't need the easy pass to go to work. And we really only use the easy pass randomly. So we'll keep an eye on it. And when it gets close, then we will go ahead and put it in the budget. But for now, no easy pass, which is awesome. And then Mauricio does not need his monthly oil change because he's not driving Uber and Amazon Flex anymore. And it's so fantastic. Next, we are moving on to Melina's category. We've got summer camp, which is $1,900. And this is the last payment like this until next summer. I have never been so excited in my life. Melina starts public school in September and she will be attending before and after care. So I'm anticipating that's gonna be around $500 a month for two hours before and two hours after. That will be a huge chunk of money that we will be able to start putting towards debt in September. And I am so 
looking forward to that. And then back to school supplies. Now I have $250 in here. By the time this video comes out, that number will have changed because in July, I actually purchased several things for Melina um, at the Nordstrom's anniversary sale. The dress that I wanted to get her for the first day of school was on sale. And so I got her a bunch of back to school stuff. So I spent that money in June. So that's going to get shifted around a little bit. I have a little bit more to get. So the next thing you're going to see in here is Life Touch Photos for $59. I think it was back in March, maybe April. I don't remember. Melina had pictures for school. I wrote a check for the pictures we bought and they never have cashed it. And I'm, I mean, it's been what, three or four months now. So do I keep that in the budget thinking at some point they're going to cash it? I mean, it's life touch. It's not like, you know, Bob's Photoshop where they might only have one person that has just misplaced the check and it'll come up later. I think you can only cash a check for up to six months. I don't know. If you know, we can leave me a comment below because I legitimately don't know. I don't know how long I should leave this in my budget, but I don't want to take it out and have it go through and then have it overdraft. So I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. In our stores category, you guys know that we shop by store, not by category. So we have, you know, Trader Joe's, we have Amazon, we have Sephora, you know, all of the places that we regularly shop. Now, one thing that you may notice happened in our um, July budget is we had several grocery store runs that we didn't anticipate. And I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should put $100 extra into this category to cover that so it's not, you know, throwing us all off kilter at the end of the month. We're really trying to shore up our budget and pay off as much as physically possible in the next however long it takes us to pay off our biggest loan so we can get ourselves out of here because I'm pretty sure my parents are ready for us to go. <laughs> we take up a lot of space and this is a huge house, but still we take up a lot of space, a lot. So in this category, we have our $150 for Amazon, which we really seem to be using a lot. We're really trying to curb the extraneous spending. So I'd like to bring that category down over the next few months if we can. And then the dry cleaners, now that Mauricio is having to dress in business attire and I have to wear suits to work every day, the dry cleaner is gonna be a thing. I hate dry cleaners. They're so freaking expensive. I've tried the dry it in your own, or clean it in your own dryer bags and they just don't turn out the same. For now, we are gonna keep with the dry cleaner, but it's the hazard of a professional career. I, I have learned to live with it. It's an expense I've had my entire career. So, you know, just suck it up and deal. Put those big girl panties on and understand you're gonna have to pay a dry cleaner. In the insurance and tax, we have our USAA insurance, which is 159.73. And I realize it says zero here, but the reason for that is because the the way we have our accounts set up, that payment goes automatically into the bill and it doesn't ever filter through every dollar. And I was having a lot of problems every month getting my actual bank accounts and every dollar to match up and I figured out why. That was it. So then we have that insurance I love to hate, the CMFG, which I have an abbreviation for, but I can't say it on YouTube because it's rude. But it's a $12 insurance that I purchased when we took out our largest loan, which was $140,000, that if we died, it would just automatically pay it off. We have life insurance. We could have done it that way. So I'm just paying $12 for nothing. It annoys me every time I pay it. That's reason number two that we're going to pay off that big loan. Granted, the, the loan payment, I mean, we're putting, what, $2,600 every month to the big loan payment, more or less right now, soon to be more. Um, and I'm irritated by $12. I know, it's not rational. My life insurance is $91.65. And again, it's through USAA. I have two life insurance policies, one through my work and one through USAA. And that, again, gets automatically drafted out of another bank account. And so that was also throwing off my budget. So, but it is paid for out of my paycheck. And then we have 3583 for Mauricio's life insurance. 
And his is so much less than mine because he's 12 years younger than I am and he's a lot healthier than I was when I got my life insurance. I just realized in July every year we get our personal property tax and we haven't gotten it yet. Hmm. But that's going to come due in October, so we have that on the books. And in our giving category, I recently saw a fantastic video about doing the Dave Ramsey plan when you are not religious. And I'll go ahead and link that video in the eye in the sky. It was great. There was a big discussion about tithing and people who tithe and people who don't. So in our house, we put all of our giving into one category. And we actually, in our category, we include birthday, anniversary, giving gifts to each other, tithing, and also the money we give to my parents every month. And you will notice that as always, the tithing and the parents are blocked out because the tithing is between us and the church and the parents is between us and my parents. In the month of August, we have my nephew's birthday, so we will be providing him a birthday present and my parents are having their 50th anniversary. And we have planned a huge um, dessert party. It's gonna be great. I am very excited to be helping my parents put that on, so I have no idea how many people are gonna actually come, but there's gonna be a lot of sweets. It's gonna be good. And in our miscellaneous category, we have our iTunes drafts at $30. It actually ends up being $29.97, I think, because each one is $9.99, but that's like Netflix and um, Apple Music, and there's another one. I don't remember what it is, but it's Mauricio's. Then I have Weight Watchers, which is $44.95, which will, I will have from now until the day I die. And then we have our Blow Money set at $200 and haircuts for Mauricio at $25. We have recently added in Skype so Mauricio can talk to his mom and a few family members down in Colombia. He realized he wasn't talking to his mom as much as he would like, so we decided to go ahead and add that in, and I am totally cool with that because everybody should talk to their mom all the time. And for the month of August, because Mauricio's new paychecks will be kicking in in September, they he will start getting paid in August and we will use them in September. Our total debt payments are going to remain the same at $4,111.60. And that is the minimum amount that we have tried to do all along. That is way over our minimum payments at this point, obviously, but we've tried to keep it consistent all throughout this whole process that we were always going to put that amount and never any less. And that has worked out really well. In our cushion category, you can see this month I have upped it to $300. And the reason is with Mauricio starting his new job, there seem to be a lot of expenses that are coming in that we aren't expecting. So between that and Melina starting kindergarten in public school this year, I wanted to make sure we had a good cushion and hey, if we don't spend it at the end of, of August, we'll go ahead and put it towards debt. And then in YouTube, we have 450 for TubeBuddy, 499 for PicMonkey, $5 for Backblaze, and $9.99 for Umi Downloader. And I know I said I was gonna cancel that, but I ended up loving this program. It allows me to download videos off of YouTube and and you can see in some of my previous videos, I'm actually using it quite a bit. And so I decided to keep that. And we have no medical expenses at the moment, but we're getting ready to have some major dental work. So this will probably change. And this is where the biggest change comes in, sinking funds. This month we have decided to add some sinking funds and up some sinking funds. First, the medical sinking fund was $50 and now we're gonna up it to 150 every month because we are just spending, spending, spending for medical right now with my neck injections and all the dental stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and up that to 150 every month, probably for the duration 
The cart repair replace fund is staying at $100. The Christmas fund is staying at $100. The emergency trip to Columbia fund is staying at $50. Melina's school expenses is staying at $25. We don't have to contribute anything to the emergency fund. These next two categories are new. We are starting to contribute $100 every month to a summer camp sinking fund because summer camp is ending up being between five and six thousand dollars for three months and it's just going to be easier if we go ahead and save that and then the other one is the work travel expenses sinking fund and I think I'm going to cap that one out at a thousand dollars that would be probably the most I would need um, if I were traveling, I, I took the most expensive trip that I have had over about the last five years and I looked at how much came out of my personal account and it was right around $1,000. So I figure if we cap it at 1000 when I get reimbursed, I'll just transfer the money over and it'll it'll work out because it's going to... It's looking like I'm going to be traveling quite a bit more now on this job than I was before, which is good and bad, but it's my job and that's what I'm gonna have to do. This is the room that Mauricio uses as his office. And he's a pig. Every time I come in here, I have to clean up his mess. It's like he knows that there is a child in this house. He literally just stopped right in front of my house. And we have never bought ice cream from the ice cream man. Why? Because one little ice cream thing is $4.50. $4.50. Why would I pay that when I can buy an entire box from the grocery store? So yeah, but he obviously knows where we live. So that is our budget for the month of August. And I really appreciate you guys sticking around. And if you are new to my channel, be sure to click on my big laughing face to subscribe. And I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This one is my latest video. And this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.